Hello again. Well, this is the coordinate, or these are the coordinates to point four. So we found a coordinate. Whoops. We found a coordinate on every point. Well, we put coordinates on every point. Point one, two, three, and four. So let's check back in now. Let's solve for the change in northing and the change in easting to get back to point one, <clears throat> and see if we get. Excuse me, and see if we get 1,000, 1,000. So I'm going to use this triangle up here. Okay, and we're going to use this is 90 degrees. So this, what angle is this? Well, we know north is straight up, and we know the angle here is what? Is our azimuth. 290 degrees. So, um, so the supplement to get to, to get to 360 is this angle in here. So we just do 360 minus 290. That should be our angle. So 0, 3, 2, 16, that's 7. 70 degrees. So our angle in here is going to be 70 degrees. Let me draw it down below. So we're going up and over. All right, so we're going from 4 to 1. This angle, we just figured out, was 70 degrees, and the distance is 218.98. 218.98. Okay, right? 218.98, just making sure. So, the change in northing, in northing, and the change in easting. Okay, so our change in easting is going to be negative now, right? We're going in the negative direction. Change in northing is positive, still positive. So let's solve for our change in northing. It's going to be the cosine of 70 degrees is equal to the change in northing over 218.98. So our change in northing is equal to 218.98 times 70 cosine. 74.90. Okay, and our change in easting is going to be the sign sine of 70 degrees is equal to the change in easting over 218.98. Change in easting is equal to 218.98 times 70 sine. We're just going to apply this to our coordinates of point 0.4 and see what we get. So 1 northing is equal to 925.10 plus 74.90. We get, get 925.10 plus 74.90. Point nine zero is equal to what? One thousand. One thousand. And our northing to point one. I mean, our easting to point one is what? It's going to be one thousand two zero five point seven seven. Right. This. This right here.
Okay, minus, wait, we're going negative now. Minus 205.77. So that's what? That's 1,000. 1,000. So indeed, we got our coordinates to point to point one to be exactly what we started off with. Exactly what we started off with. Uh, this is because I made this traverse close, so it doesn't traverses don't always close. In fact, uh, in a later video, I'm going to show you why we got right back to right back to 1,000, 1,000, and and show you also that a traverse in the field won't close. You know, usually, it won't close. It has some type of error in it, and that we will fix the error. There's a mathematical way to fix the error, so you do in fact end up with 1,000, 1,000. And in the next video, I'm going to start working with these coordinates. Right now we have coordinates on these survey lines. We'll start inversing coordinates. And I'll show you that in the next video. See you soon.